uh, Nick's the Jinx the channel. So today what I'm going to do is going through a deck. A deck everyone's probably got. Um, it's the Starry Eye deck. Now I'm going to try to upgrade this deck so uh, it'll be a little more useful down the line and it's a fun deck it's a great deck there's a lot of good cards in here this is one of my first decks that I really enjoyed playing and so I put a bit of time into it and tried to see how I could uh, make it better so this is what I came up with so the strategy basically is that uh, we're revolving around uh, enchantments and all that glitters so all that glitters is an incredible uh, enchantment aura because it grants a creature plus one plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control so this is incredibly powerful i mean if you have you know think about it just the enchantment itself is a plus one plus one so it and and whatever other artifact or enchantment gives it another plus one plus one so you can get to you know five six seven no problem uh now to start off <clears throat> this is what i've added okay i'll see of life's bounty the reason i added this one is because first of all it costs one mana it has lifelink it's a one one creature it's enchanted and uh, you can sacrifice him and when you sacrifice him you can protect another creature from an element so that's uh, incredibly useful to protect a creature who might have all that glitters for example the only little downside with this is that obviously i'm not sure what happens if the creature is an artifact creature in that case um, you might have a little problem because artifact creatures are not they don't have an element attached to them so I, I I'm not quite sure what happens in that instance second I put deafening silence it's an enchantment um, this thing on the board so and it uh, causes each player to only cast one non-creature spell per turn so I haven't gotten this card yet during a game but I imagine it might be pretty good so yeah there's that next i have karametra's blessing so this is a really useful spell, a spell because uh, enchantment creatures gain uh, plus two plus two and enchanted creatures are also hex hexproof and indestructible until the end of turn so this can come in super handy it's an instant spell uh, you can use it to block or even just to not get uh, nuked or whatever one of your characters nuked or torched whatever you want to say uh, very useful this spell uh, this creature here is idol on a philosophy this one is I'm sure there's a better card out there for this uh, it's a good card it's an enchantment creature sure but the sacrifice is way too expensive seven mana and an extra mana to put him down uh, for three cards I kept one of them because uh, you know you kind of need to draw cards sometimes but and I mean you could just use him and put all that glitters on him and that's sort of an unexpected move unexpected move but I'm sure there's better cards out there than this um, again this is a free-to-play deck if ever uh, there are cards in here that you don't have you can always check out my last video where I talked about getting free decks and uh, you'll get plenty you'll get like at least 10 free decks minimum and you'll have plenty of wild cards uh, to create uh, a deck that uh, you like so then I have all that glitters I got four of these because this is an amazing enchantment aura uh, pacifism I replaced uh, pacifism with uh, Actually, I replaced that other one with pacifism. It was the water one. It had a flash, and it was an entanglement spell. Um, it was good, but it was uh, a little bit expensive on the mana side. And I, I just added some pacifism, and I added some uh, fate's feathers. 
better feather so this this is a lot more like uh, the water one that was in the deck previously in the starry eight deck this has uh, except you gain four life it has the same mana cost I believe and uh, the entangled creature can't cast its abilities so uh, unless they are mana abilities so that's pretty useful uh, then uh, the birth of Malefis which is great for mana the wall defender great uh, Valkyrie sword uh, I like this one because it has a dual purpose uh, you can use it as an equipment item artifact and or uh, for the token creature which is quite powerful actually and uh, again this is an artifact it'll boost up your all that glitters and your uh, shambling suit so really useful watcher of the spheres I don't think this is really necessary I just got this card not long ago from a pack and uh, I decided to try it out um, it gives a plus one plus one until the end of turn for every uh, flying creature you have um, and the creature flying creatures cost one less to cast so we got a couple of flying creatures I said this could be a good spell um, yeah so I put them in there but maybe not so much not really important uh, I'll, I'll tell you why but uh, then we have vanishing light obviously you want four of these uh, we have midnight clock great spell I mean it gives an extra mana you can tap for a mana uh, you can hurry the clock up by using three mana uh, so really useful I like the spell you know gives you extra cards it's nice to have uh, on the, the board and uh, people won't really go after this too much so uh, you know it's good for the shambling suit and uh, all that glitters then we have I, I got the crystalline giant again only because I I got this card from a pack and it's uh it's pretty good you know it gives you a flying first strike a touch at the beginning of your combat turn you basically get a new uh, enchantment so you'll get flying on the first turn or, or something it's not in that order exactly there's that random but you'll get you'll get them all through uh, the seven or eight turns that it'll take so uh, interesting uh, artifact creature um, a really I like it, you know. I like it, especially when it gets like hexproof on the uh, hexproof on the its first, uh, you know, uh, counter that it gets. I mean, that's just that's just beautiful. You know, you can't ask for better better than that. I mean, that's that's just amazing. Um, then we have shambling suit. Obviously, you might want to replace the crystalline giant with shambling suit. I don't see a problem with that. It's an artifact creature. It it goes great with the set. Uh, this is a really powerful creature when you have the artifacts and enchantments in place which you're you're loaded on you know so that's great uh fates and feathers we talked about uh, archon of sun's grace now this is the one where um you might want to replace the watcher of the spears for uh you know you can have two or even three of these i don't quite see the problem in it uh, we've got plenty of enchantments. It has lifelink. You get a two two Pegasus tro uh, uh, creature token. Uh, I mean, what more could you want for each enchantment you get? It, this is just an incredible card. Um, I took out the moth, brood moth, luminous brood moth, just because I feel that as soon as there's a resemblance of a starry eyed deck being played, the opponents are usually keeping a destruct uh, a destroy spell or some sort of entanglement spell for that particular uh creature so i i i don't try to i i took them out unless you're willing to get an, uh two or three of them um i don't see the point in it i'd rather get arcan sun it's it, you're gonna have you're gonna flood the, the board and you'll inevitably win um <clears throat> arcanist owl great spell a uh, great creature great spell because it's an artifact creature and it allows you at the beginning of your turn to uh, draw a card and an enchantment or artifact card so great for gathering all that glitters or really anything else 
uh, fantastic, and it's flying. Amazing. Uh, Elspeth conquers debt. Well, this is a great spell. You can resurrect something from your graveyard, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and uh, you can destroy a, a creature the opponent controls with a mana value three or greater. Three or greater, that's, a, that's huge. And uh, it costs two more to cast until the next turn for the opponent. This is amazing as well. Kiora best the Sea God. Amazing enchantment. And these all stay on the board, so they're increasing your shambling suit and your all that glitters. And the you know the, the manas, plains, islands, and uh tranquil cove. So 10 10 4. And that's it. Uh, that's pretty much the deck I've created. Like I said, there are some changes, minor changes. I would I'm playing around with it still. But um Basically, Archon Sun, I mean, you could, you can get four of these, you know what I mean? I only have one rare card yet, because I was working on another deck as well, but uh, you can get four of these, no problem. Uh, you can even get, like, three Luminous uh, Broad Mots. I had, like, I think I had, like, four or five Mythic cards. I used a few of them on other things, uh, so, you know, free-to-play deck, this this deck worked out you can get to mythic in the ranking no problem um, it won't be a problem at all uh, for Eidolon of philosophy you might want to put in like uh, what's it called uh, omen of the sea or something uh, it's an artifact or an enchantment that stays on the board so and it draws you a card you cry to I don't know I'm not sure about this one I, I haven't really found any card to replace it yet but uh, in the future and uh, yeah so let's give it a try let's see if we can get a reasonable opponent I'll go for one game here in the play match just a regular play and we'll see what happens I'll try to show you uh, this is usually pretty aggressive um, for the most part uh, it always depends with your starting hand, um, but it, it usually ramps up pretty quick. Uh, you can imagine because it's just everything you get is uh, synergizes so well with the rest of the uh, the cards in your hand. So you you really can't go very wrong with this. Um, you know, I'd say like the. Uh, biggest problems towards this deck are usually things that uh, you know black decks black red decks are usually kind of this styles decks worst enemy but you could get away with it you could still win it's not a it's not a horrible uh, defeat that's for sure you, you will have them running for their money so we start here we're just giving it a little hit uh, does one life good game um, I don't know uh, what that means I think I don't know if they've they've hit some really good card but uh, I guess we'll find out uh, I'm not getting too much mana but you see the clock is going to give me a mana and that's just great on the next turn I'll be able to put out the owl um, he keeps saying good game. I have no idea why, but I guess because I'm hitting him and he's kind of mocking that. But I mean, I'm like, I'm not not gonna hit him because like he's there, he's open. So even if it's for one hit, I'm still getting a life. So you know, the two points of life. Okay, so this person obviously has some good cards in their hands. Uh, that's a little bit intimidating that's i won't let that get to my mind too quick um any color okay so i'm not going to use my inch entanglement spell just yet i think i'm going to put out this guy and see all that glitters just came out right there so uh like i said like it's it's i'm going to keep outside aside because i want him to protect that's his main focus really is that he protects but this is going to be really really tough here and uh this might be a huge problem 
So I'm not exactly sure. Here we go. We're going to get banishing in here. We're going to banish this guy right out because that's a problem. Um, and yeah, we're going to go for a, a hit. We're going to go for a hit. We're going to try to... Uh, so we could pretty much counter a lot of spells. We don't have um, any uh, destruction spells that, that we can counter. Well, uh, well, I mean, other than with uh, that instant spell that we have the uh, with the Minotaur on it, um, that one can kind of help us out. It can get us out of sticky situations. But for the most part, um, we don't really have anything. Okay, so we've got a Planeswalker here. Uh, this is a pretty... I like this Planeswalker a lot, actually. This is a really good Planeswalker. Um, f for the mana cost and everything, I mean, it's uh, it, it's really nice. It does some good... Some nice things. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm... Uh, yeah. This person really has some intense cards. So, uh, I'm not getting any mana here. This is uh, this is obviously not great for any hand. Um, and I I'm gonna go with the sh uh, shambling suit. Uh, and I still have a mana left, so that's nice. Um, hmm. I don't know if I should go because he can build some tokens, some creature tokens. I think I don't know if I should prioritize. Hmm. I think I'll just. I think I'm going straight for the kill here. I think I'm going to uh, try to uh, use all that glitters on the Arcanist Owl, or maybe get Pegasus out if you know if I can get some mana and hopefully win this hand. That's. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh god. Yeah. This is. Uh, this is not good. This is what you don't want to see here. Uh, exile the top card in each player's library. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna get intense. But with our all that glitters, we still have a chance of. Um, doing pretty good it's gonna be close but I seriously think that uh, we can get away with this one uh, like I said this is gonna be really really close but uh, we can sacrifice Alisade and with our Arcanist Owl just go straight for uh, a pretty big hit um, and with two of those we will be good. So, my turn. Mana would be always appreciated. That's the thing with this game. You either have way too much mana or never enough. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm sticking with the main plan. I, unless I trap him and uh, focus on the... Uh, I, I, uh, I could get away with it. I could get away with it. I'm just going to go for it. He can't really kill my shambling suit. So, uh, and I don't know. This person either thinks they're winning or they're losing. I'm not quite sure which. I still find it a little bit worrisome. But, uh, I'm going to try to push through here. And, uh, just get get the okay so yeah uh that's a really strange play well good game but I mean, even though okay that was probably a mistake or whatever but even though uh i think we had him you know he could have tried to exile us with the uh tibalt here uh oh that's not what i wanted but fine. Uh, we could have exiled us with a Tybalt, but we would have had um, the uh, Alcide. So I think we would have been all right with that. I'm not sure about uh, exile, but uh, for destruction, it works. 
and uh, yeah, so it obviously, uh, you could obviously upgrade this deck is what I'm trying to get to, and you could, you know, as long as you're using the primary focus of the deck, which um, is enchantments and all that glitters, uh, yeah, you've got an amazing deck right there, and I think it's, I'd say it's possibly one of the easier decks to upgrade because you just have so many good cards that already come with the basic deck that uh, it's and and the ones that aren't really good are they just stand out like you'll know just by playing this deck like two to three times you're gonna understand like what you can use and what you can't there's also that other creature that I removed uh, he's a he's a water creature like a reptilian thing it costs like I think like six mana seven mana in, in total it, it, it the, the mana does get reduced the more enchantments I think and artifacts there are that you control but I mean you can just do so much more damage this way I mean like and it's so it's it's not very expected because like you know you can just put an enchantment of all that glitters go in for like you know an extra seven five seven damage like you know i just demonstrated here so i mean this is a great hand uh you can get really far with this hand in your ranking um i mean i'm 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 mythic i'm having a little bit of difficulty right now uh I'm having a little bit of difficulty right now um, at 81%, but uh, I'm still working on a deck to kind of uh, maybe go up a couple of percentage points. But uh, I'm just happy I got to Mythic, and uh, it was mostly thanks to that hand. I have another hand that I might show, another deck. Uh, this one I uh, seen uh, other people using. It's a mono black deck. Uh, this is super useful, and I'll show you this in the next video. Uh, I really enjoy this deck as well. It will take more crafting cards, though, so that's a little bit of the downside. As for the Starry Eyed, I mean, you can make this uh, with the packs, no problem. I wasted a lot of my, my crafting cards on this deck, actually, because I didn't have any of them to start with. So uh, yeah, and uh, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you, uh, you know, climb up the ladder, the ranking ladder. Uh, please subscribe, leave a comment and uh, come back next time. Uh, thank you very much. Love ya.